Well, hello, I'm Tracy KYGO Denver. Hello. It's great to see you. We just saw the film. It's incredible. All of us Thank are going to echo that throughout this entire interview. During when and when you got the role, is there something that you found out that surprised you more than any other detail about Priscilla Presley? Um, I think her feistiness was one of the most the pleasant surprises of, of learning about her and her life. I, you know, there's an excerpt from her book where she taught, there's like this crazed fan that's waiting outside of the house and she almost goes to like throw hands with her. And I always was like, that's my girl. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I love the, I love that, that part of her. Yeah. I love seeing that too. Cause she was always kind of like portrayed as a little timid, very put together, not at very all. like presentable, but no, she had a feisty side to her. And I love that. I love that part of her. I loved it too. And you did it well. Thank you. So how much, did you get to meet her? Did you get to spend time with her? Was that before you researched her? Like, did you research her and then meet her? Or did you meet her and then research her? It was research and then meet. I didn't okay. get to touch base with her until after the film had come out, which I think, you know, in hindsight is definitely, yeah. I think, a blessing in disguise. Yeah. I think it might have gotten my head and freaked me out a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot of research, a lot of watching, a lot of reading, a lot of listening, all sorts. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, did I say I'm Nicole from Philly? Sorry. Hi, Nicole from They're Philly. They're making us say our name and where we're from. <laughs> we're, not used to, we're not used to that, so sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I'm Erica from Channel 933 in San Diego. Hi, um, I think that, honestly, you were one of my favorite parts of the film because I think that Priscilla has this very, like, it, like you're saying, she's very feisty, but then at moments holds back and is like, he's the star and that's that. And the scene that I, I, to me, seemed the most challenging is when he's kissing all the women in the audience. Yeah. How did you, like, you nailed it. Did you, Thank you. mentally have, like, moments I mean, you know, I don't think it's, it's hard to imagine what that would be like. You know, mm -hmm. we've all experienced love, and I think just having a second to go imagine seeing somebody that you love, you know, uh, kissing somebody else, it would be awful, you know, and really sad and upsetting and, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like a part of that oh sorry I feel like there's a part of that scene that was so well done where like you were able to convey at least I got it that you were like he's the star like this is him there's a level of acceptance yes. I think that's and, the word sorry you know, to think, me yell no that's it's true it is I think there's a level of acceptance that she had to overcome and accept in that dynamic, which I think ultimately as well was the, what, what tore them apart, you know? I was going to say it's similar to the breakup scene. Yeah. Is the level of acceptance of her being like, I have to. Yeah. You, yeah. Like you have to let me job. go. If yeah. I stay, I'll never leave. Yes. You know, the love is too great, but I have to go my own. I have to go my own way. Yeah. So good. Thank you. I'm Jenny Castillo from Rumba 100.3 in Orlando, iHeartMedia. Hello. Um, may I just say that you're probably like one of the most beautiful... <laughs> women I've seen oh. and you're the envy of so many not only to play the Priscilla Presley Thank but also you. to work alongside Austin how was that like for you <laughs> I mean you know Austin's great he's very um very dedicated very passionate um it was yeah to to, to sort of get in the ring with him and 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 sort of flesh out scenes with him was really oh, there's a party going on over there was um really special I think as well I think too in the in the early stages of of someone's career I think to share a space with with someone in that regard it's it's exciting and yeah we had a lot of fun making that film so then that leads me to the next question which would be was there a moment that you felt like was a little more challenging for you you know I need to for sure. the part. I need to be yeah I mean one of the most challenging aspects for me initially was actually because because I realized you know Priscilla found a lot of strength and softness and she had this air of femininity which was constant with her it was sort of just like it just came off of her and it was very natural and I found that to be a stretch just as me Olivia all those years ago and so I worked a lot with Polly Bennett our, our movement coach to sort of bring that into a physicality that felt a bit more palpable for me as Olivia those those years ago um, so that was a bit of a challenge but I think coming away from that job and I know it sounds so corny and I kind of hate when actors are like change my life but honestly like I feel like ever since stepping in her shoes I it's fully has changed my life so I have so much to thank her for 
uh, Froggy from the Elvis Duran Morning Show. And so Great name. When, when you're doing, thank you. <laughs> when you're doing this role, do you feel almost like you become her almost? And that kind of becomes a part of you forever moving forward? Because this is not something you can just turn on and turn off. For sure. I also think given the nature of when we did the job, which was during the pandemic and sort of how insular that, 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 that any job becomes, but this job particularly, like we all cared about each other so, so much. Um, but I think for sure, I yeah, there's a before Elvis the shoot and there's a after Elvis the shoot. And yeah, I think that answers your question. Were you a fan of Elvis growing up? Were you a fan of Elvis's music? Totally. I mean, I grew up listening to his to his songs. I My parents were huge music lovers. And so he was blasting through the house from, you know, as, as for as long as I, I can remember. I didn't know about his life. I didn't know what he was inspired by. I didn't know how much that sort of black music had inspired his songs and where that all came from. Um, so there was a lot that I didn't know, but I knew, I knew his music thoroughly. I love that you said that because I feel like so many are going to finally understand who influenced him and where the yeah. culture comes from and still to this day um, in hip hop. Continue. Totally. Well, that was one of the biggest things that I found so interesting was I had no idea that, right. you know, without B.B. King, without Big Mama Thornton, without Little Richard, there would be no Elvis, you know, yeah. and how so often in history we skip over how important these sort of cultural moments are and how oftentimes they come from, from, from the black community. That being said, where were you or did you have to read for the part or were, the, were you... Did you just did? Th did I was I offered the role? Yeah. No audition. Were you I the role? no, absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, Where were you when you found out you got it? Where I, were you? I was uh, sitting at dinner. It's funny. I was sitting at dinner with my agent, and we were actually talking about the movie. And we were like, "Damn, I wonder who got that. Like, wouldn't that be good to have got? Like, wow, look at that." So and it had we, been a while. It had been like three, four months. At yeah, this so point, like, I was oh, like, I lost it. Yeah, I had to yeah. let it go. I was like some other amazing American, sorry, like up and comers probably nabbed that. I'll let it go. But he literally got a text message while we had this conversation saying that I was choice for the part. <gasps> and I remember there was like some producers sitting behind us or something. So we couldn't Catch even, us. we couldn't even like, I wasn't even, I couldn't even be like, <sighs> I had to sit there, and I remember he was like, wine, oysters, let's, <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. My name is Dana Cortez with the Dana Hello, Cortez Dana. Show. Hello, <laughs> Dana. Okay. Um, and then the next question is because, as you said, you thought some other, you know, new guys, whoever's got it. Working with Tom Hanks, did that make you a bit nervous? Because he's just, we talked about this before you came into the room. I mean, from... Big to Philadelphia to I mean just some Toy amazing Story. movie uh, yeah Toy Story Hello. trust me Wilson. I remember actually on Hello. that Hello. on that one Hello. of my earliest There's memories no in baseball yeah one of my earliest memories sorry to interrupt you very quickly oh. one, one of my earliest memories was sitting in my little like uh, like uh, room that you the special rooms that they give you to sit in and wait and I had my full Priscilla get up I hadn't properly met Tom yet and all I could hear was his voice and I was like Woody <laughs> I was like Woody from Toy Story Hello. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that was my earliest. I don't know if that's your question, but there's an answer. <laughs> Were you nervous at all? Totally. You know, he's an icon. He's a legend. He's Tom Hanks. You know, you've got his, rest his Forrest Gump restaurants everywhere. You know, I've been there with my family. But, you know, one of the most pleasant things about working with him and also the huge lesson, I think a lot of questions I get asked, like, what piece of advice did you give Tom Hanks? And I didn't get a piece of advice, but watching how he treats other people when you're that successful and the sort of time that he gives, you know, who am I? You know, I'm just a young, like a young actor. And he gave me so much of his time and so much presence, you know, and I think that's a lot. You can learn so much from that. In this industry, anyone that lasts usually has that quality. Congratulations. You did a fabulous Thank you. Job. you Thanks, guys. I would say we're friends. I would say so. Yeah. I want the deeds. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, it's like <sighs> on a bit of a sweat. Yeah. But is it hot kissing in front of a room of people filming uh, you? No. That's it's like I the figured. least sexy thing, the least hot, the least romantic. Because you like open your eyes and like Baz is there going, good job. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> you're like, Ugh. like your dad okay. watching you have a first Yeah, that's something. what it feels like, you know. <laughs> I mean, there are a few. <laughs> there are a few. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. One more time. Sorry, guys. I think I messed that one up. <laughs> well, congratulations. I think this is the beginning of a uh, 
just a huge career for you and many others Thank on you. this film. It was beautiful. Absolutely. It is such an ensemble piece. Everybody really just really delivered. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you.